Fortnite, a year in review. First of all, I'm going to start with some years past stuff. In seasons prior, we have had lots of things. Basically, the uh, first season of 2022 started out in 2021, actually. First of all, the island flipped in the Chapter 2 end event, actually. This was also the start of a new chapter, by the way. The island flipped. Like, I'm being serious, it flipped. Like, flipped over. So then, um, we have Chapter 3 Season 1, which has some noticeable names, like Spider-Man, for example. Basically, this season, first one, Chapter 3 Season 1 is really good, in my opinion. Chapter 3 Season 1 was a starter season. It was good for one. I'm about to go more in depth on Chapter 3 Season 1. Let's just say we started 2022 off with a bang. On January 18th, 2022, or sometime around then, a Fortnite update released, which would impact the game season severely. This would probably bring back a lot of players. It, this was the update. Tilted Towers was brought back to Fortnite. If you can't see, there's a snow patch under the big old lake in the center of the map. That's where Tilted Towers was. That snow patch melted away. Tilted Towers was revealed. Everybody knew it was Tilted Towers before then, but... It was pretty insane to see Tilted Towers back in the game after multiple years. We are remember two drops at Tilted Towers. The first time we dropped there, in Chapter 3 Season 1. Chapter 3 Season 1's Tilted Towers saw levels of players that had not been experienced in multiple years. This had not been experienced since sometime around 2018. Keep in mind this was four years later. Tilted Towers brought back a lot of players. It was pretty insane seeing the greatest location of all time back in Fortnite. Besides Paradise Palms. Paradise Palms needs to come back. But Tilted Towers back in Fortnite, that was mind-blowing. Tilted Towers is still technically in Fortnite by Clock Tower. There were eight skins in the Battle Pass this season, like most other seasons, but there were two people were going wild over. The secret skin, which was the Rock, or the skin was called the Foundation, and the Tier 100 skin, Spider-Man. This Battle Pass is probably one of the funnest Battle Passes I've ever done. It was just overall fun. Spider-Man, after I got it, I was just, like, using it for multiple days. Which I do not usually use with skins now. Uh, the Spider-Man Mythics that came with Spider-Man were absolutely awesome. I loved using those. I actually still have a funny TikTok uploaded with the Spider-Man Mythics. Let's just say I did a really, really big failure when I used them. And I died. It was pretty funny. And the Rock skin... We all knew it was The Rock, but still, that was awesome seeing The Rock in Fortnite. Overall, this Battle Pass was a 10 out of 10 for me. Honestly, this was such a great season. Now we are going to go on to Chapter 3 Season 2, another season I liked. Chapter 3 Season 2. This season was based off of Warfare. It came out at a really bad time. If you don't know... There's a war currently going on between Ukraine and Russia. Hopefully this video doesn't get shadow banned for saying that, but, uh... This season came out at not the perfect time. That war had started, like, I think a few weeks earlier. Epic Games took a huge gamble with this season, and it paid off. This was a really good season. I liked the storyline of the season. It worked good. I liked a lot of stuff about the season in general. The skins were okay. Like, the Prowler and, and Doctor Strange, those are okay. But the Prowler, it, we'll get into stuff that's hinting on for later. But if you don't know, the Prowler is from Spider-Man Miles Morales. Everybody knows Spider-Man is Spider-Verse. So, he's kind of hinting at the He's kind of hinting at Miles Morales coming into the game. There's another skin that also does that in this chapter, too. But, it was a good bow pass, in my opinion. And the season was fun overall. I rate it a 10 out of 10. Chapter 3, Season 3. 
this is a season I don't really know how to describe, to be honest. This season, I, I can't really describe it. First of all, every time you log into the game, you see this screen right here. There's a cloud in the background that looks like a fighter jet. Fighter jets never came to the game. I'm still upset about that. Second of all, skin in the center. I TikTok, just like that. That's all I'm going to say. All right. Plus, I forget what the tier 100 of the season was. I'm not even joking. I, I forgot. I forgot. Like, I don't remember. Like, I can't not... I cannot remember what it is. Like, I'm honestly serious. Uh, what was it? Please tell me in chat if you... Not chat, but... Please write in the comments if you know what it was. I rate the season a 5 out of 10. Chapter 3, Season 4. This was the last season of Chapter 3. That was a really small chapter. Like, four seasons. The last two chapters... Or 10 seasons and 8 seasons, respectively. Oh boy, was this chapter packed with stuff, though. Basically, this season, it was like a... Whatever you call it, taking over the island. With help from, like... Interdimensional beings? I don't know. Uh, basically... We had some good skins in this battle pass, to be honest. Uh... We had another skin hinting at Miles Morales coming into the game. Yet he still hasn't come into the game, which I'm kind of upset about. And then there's the Paragon Diamond skin. It's okay. Other skins in Battle Pass, they're better. Other skins in Battle Pass, they're worse. There's a really horrible music pack in this Battle Pass, too, which made me want to chop my ears off. The locations weren't good, sadly. They were literally just floating versions of locations. Overall, I rate the season a Chapter 4, Season 1. This chapter has already been so good. So far, we have Doom Guy, which is the literal... The Demon Slayer. The guy who kills demons for fun. We have Geno in the Battle Pass. And, we, and then we have Geralt of Rivia all in the same Battle Pass. That is mind-blowing. This is the first season in the wild, by the way, to have a tier 100, which is not a collaboration. That's surprising, honestly. Epic Games hasn't done that until, uh... Sorry. Um... The locations in this map are really good. Like, I love the locations on this map so far. And also, the changes they made this season were so good. The dirt bikes are awesome. I just... This is a great season, 11 out of 10. That's the only that's the only time I'm ever going to rate something that way. Bye.